What is going on, fight fans? Just finished watching Gavanta Davis knock out Frank Martin in the eighth round. Let me start off by saying that I had Davis in this fight, but I actually picked him. I picked him by stoppage, but I picked him by dominant stoppage. I thought that he would dominate the fight from beginning to end. That was not the case. Let me get right into my pros and cons. Let me start with uh, Gervonta. The pros would be, even though he probably lost five of those first eight rounds, he stayed calm and he stayed with his game plan. He said that it may have something to do with Russ. I think it had to do with Frank Martin. I like the fact that he started going to the body a lot. Uh, starting around uh, starting around the fourth round, which I believe is what began to slow Frank Martin down. I like the fact that Davis was mix, mixing up his shots. He was not only going to the body and throwing the straight left hand, but he threw some uppercuts in there, kind of throwing Frank Martin uh, you know, off of his game plan. I like the fact that Gravante Davis also was cutting off the ring. He was, you know, being a predator, being a stalker in there and not letting Martin get too comfortable. As for the cons, I would say that I didn't like the fact that in those first five rounds, Gravante Davis, for some reason, in my opinion, seemed kind of hesitant to let his hands go. It could have been the movement from, from Martin, but he seemed to kind of hold back and it seemed that it took him a lot longer to figure out Frank Martin than I was anticipating. As for Frank Martin, the pros would be he had a good game plan. His game plan was to use his jab. It was to try to counter punch and it was definitely to move his legs. He did mix up his punches. He was, uh, he was quite the aggressor in those first five rounds, which I think if he could have kept that up, he could have won the fight. But that brings me to my cons. I did not like the fact that he kept uh, backing himself up against the ropes. He's the taller fighter. He's the longer fighter. I thought he would have had more success if he would have stayed in the middle of the ring. And you can still have your movements. But the moment that you feel your back touch the ropes, you have to immediately get off. He did not do that. And that allowed Gervonta Davis to get back in the fight. I also didn't like the fact that being a taller fighter, he was almost eye to eye with Davis. He should have been standing up tall and using his reach. Instead, he put himself right eye to eye with Davis. And I also didn't like the fact that Frank Martin started, he started leaning way down, allowing Gervonta Davis to really get his power going. We all know that when you are shorter than a fighter, that, that you punch harder when you punch down. Gervonta is already the shorter fighter, and he's ducking so far down that Gervonta was able to actually get his power going. Let's uh, talk about what happened in the fight. As I mentioned in my pros and cons, the first five rounds, I thought it was all Frank Martin. I thought that he had a great game plan, and I'm saying in my mind, this guy is actually going to pull this off. I'm thinking he's going to lose this fight, but he's going to pull this off and he's going to beat Gervonta Davis if he can just keep it up. But when we got to about the mid-fifth, but to around the sixth round, Gervonta began to turn it up. He began to go to the body a lot, and it was very evident that he was hurting Frank to the body because Frank, he started lower. You know, you, if you look at his elbows, he started, his elbows were tucked in at his rib cage because he did not want that body work which allowed Gervonta to go upstairs and unleash his shots. I felt that Frank got undisciplined in that seventh round. He started leaning against the ropes, put, letting his back be against the ropes, and Gervonta saw it and took advantage of it. Let's get to the eighth round. We saw what happened. Like a true champion, Gervonta saw the opening. He hit Frank with a right hook, but it was the left uppercut. That's what really did it. The uppercut is the most dangerous shot in boxing. He hit him with that hard left uppercut. And the truth is, you can see it in Frank's face. He was dazed. And literally a second later, Gavanta just comes with a clean left hand that Davis didn't see coming. Excuse me, that Martin didn't see coming. It was a hard left hand that put him down. And honestly, the moment he went down, I knew that that fight was over. He goes down, the referee counts to 10. We, we get to end the fight, fight is over. Gervonta Davis is victorious once again. So now let's move on to what happens from here. Let me say something about Frank Martin. I think that Frank Martin proved himself to be a pretty good lightweight tonight. And I could actually see him, if he can stay disciplined and keep his feet moving, I could see him beating some good lightweights out there. As for Gervonta Davis... 
They mentioned Cruz, they mentioned Lomachenko, and they mentioned Stevenson. I would like to see him fight one, if not all of those guys in the near future. Hopefully this year we don't get a soft touch. We get one of those guys in the ring. Now, he didn't call out a particular guy. He just said that all three of those guys are on his radar. Hopefully for us fight fans, they are because Gervonta Davis is something special. And I like the guy that I saw in the ring tonight. Humble, patient. You know, all about his business from the moment he walked into the arena. You could tell that Gravante Davis was not on that nonsense. He was all on his business. And that's the guy that I want to see going forward. And if he can be this guy the rest of his career, he's going to be hard to beat. All right, fight fans. What were your thoughts on the fight? Were you impressed with Frank Martin? And what did you think about Gravante Davis? And what do you want to see Davis do from here? Do you want to see him fight one of those three names I just brought up or maybe someone else? If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. That's all I got for now. Holla at y'all later.